Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a demo that will help you plan your container terminal with Quintic. In this demo, I will explain the important pieces of a container terminal and how to use Quintic to achieve great results in the unloading of containers from vessels to the stockyard. There are four main operations in the planning of container terminals. The first operation is the planning of vessels to berths. In this step, we have to pay close attention to the tides as there are significant restrictions regarding large boats and low tides. The second part of the plan is assigning individual containers to be picked up by cranes. As a reminder, the entire container terminal planning process is designed to assign individual containers to specific locations within the stockyard. Once a crane has unloaded the container, a carrier will take it to its designated spot in the stockyard. There are specific sections of the stockyard for specific container types. In this model, there are three different types of containers, refrigerated, regular, and hazardous. Also, a container terminal can't function without employees, so a workforce will be created to serve the terminal. In the first view, birth planning, we can see three forms. At the top left of the screen, we have the vessels arriving over the next few days and their characteristics. When we select a vessel, we can see all containers that belong to that vessel. If we select all of the vessels at once, we can see all of the various containers and their respective characteristics. At the bottom of the screen is an overview of the two berths that belong to this terminal. On the y-axis, there are dimensions of the berth, and on the x-axis, date and time are visible. Low tides are highlighted in light blue so that you can see the restrictions for the larger vessels related to tides. We can manually plan a vessel to a berth by dragging and dropping it, and it is possible to plan a vessel only at its arrival time, which is stored in a knowledge table. One can manually plan a vessel to a berth by dragging and dropping it. This action will plan the berth according to its arrival time and this constraint can be overruled by pressing Control plus. It is possible to see key information pertinent to a vessel if we hover the mouse over it. If the planner doesn't want to plan vessels manually, he or she can select all the vessels and plan them automatically by right-clicking and pressing Plan Birth Assignments. At the top of the screen are the KPIs related to planning, which guide the planner toward optimal planning. The KPIs include the number of vessels planned, the number of delayed vessels, and the number of overlapping vessels. Overlapping indicates when two vessels occupying the same position at a berth during the same period of time, which is allowed. Lastly, allocation distance is visible. This KPI will show zero kilometers until one container has been assigned to the stockyard. Once all containers are planned, it will display the total distance the containers have to cover to be efficiently allocated in the stockyard. The next step of planning the unloading of a vessel concerns cranes. Please visit the crane planning view. You will see three forms plus the KPIs on top. The first two forms are the same ones as in the previous view, so I'm going to focus on the third form and the KPIs. At the bottom of the screen, it is possible to see crane planning with cranes along the y-axis and time along the x-axis, and it is possible to assign individual containers to each crane. Containers can be of different types. As a reminder, hazardous, regular, or empty, and of different sizes. Quantity 1 refers to a 20-foot container and quantity 2 to a 40-foot container. These containers are assigned to cranes at the crane's first available time and when the ship has already been berthed. It is possible to plan the unloading of an entire vessel or multiple vessels. The KPIs at the top of the screen show how much time it takes to unload all of the containers planned and the percent crane utilization. The percent vessels late KPI provides insight as to the proportion of late vessels. Information regarding individual containers can be found through tooltips when hovering over containers planned on cranes. The scale of the crane Gantt chart, that is the time horizon, can be adjusted to view operations in more or less detail. The last step in planning containers is allocating them to the stockyard. Different yard blocks in the stockyard permit different container types. Depending on the berth where the vessel pertaining to certain containers is located, 
there are different distances to each yard block. The stockyard planning view contains a bird's eye view of the terminal with the two berths at the sides and 34 yard blocks in the middle. When selecting one container, valid container destinations are highlighted. One can manually plan through drag and drop functionality or by automatic planning, which will unload containers looking for the minimum distance to yard blocks. Once containers have been unloaded, resources, that is employees, need to be assigned to tasks. The workforce can be managed in the workforce planning view. Planners can view workforce demand based on vessel arrivals for crane operators, drivers, and foremen. The goal now is to plan shifts for different employees to meet demand. The goal for a terminal is to minimize cost. Those qualified to perform a task are listed in the top form and at the bottom demand for a specific skill is shown. The last thing to review are what if scenarios. This is when the container terminal planner can provide very powerful insight. Planners can edit the time of arrivals for a vessel by going to the birth planning view, clicking on any vessel and editing the time of arrival. Malfunctioning of cranes or crane maintenance can also be simulated by pivoting to the crane planning view, right clicking on the crane which needs adjusting and selecting the time frame during which it will work at a unique loading, unloading speed. Capacity is a scaler and planners can replan cranes to test the new plan. This presentation was a quick overview of container terminal planning. I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. Happy planning!